Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to GIS Chops. I'm Jeff. It's Tuesday again. That means another GIS tool for your tool belt. This week we're going to be talking about the swipe tool. It goes along with the flicker tool, which we talked about last week. If you haven't seen that video, check out that card up top and hit play next. You don't need to know how to operate that one to operate this one, so you can watch it after this one. So let's go swipe some stuff. In this map I've added a bunch of aerial imagery layers from different years to demonstrate the swipe tool. We're also going to do a little experiment to see if swimming pools are contagious. So here we have imagery from the National Agricultural Inventory Program or Project, I don't know. So here we have the same area we were looking at with the flicker tool. But today we're going to look at it with the swipe tool. To activate the swipe tool you need to have a layer selected come up to this appearance tab and then select the swipe tool okay now that we have the swipe tool active you can see our cursor changes depending on where it is on the screen if I move it around the screen it changes and points to the center of the of the screen to use the swipe tool you simply just click and drag and it's going to swipe off the layer that you have selected in the table of contents It'll swipe it back and forth depending on which way you move your cursor. And you can do it from the sides, the top, the bottom. Now let's look at the changes between 2006 and 2018. Here we have no swimming pools. If we swipe, we see one swimming pool got added there towards the top. Now I'm going to turn off that layer, select this layer and swipe this one. And I don't see any new pools, but I think I'm seeing some above ground pools show up. Let's turn off that layer. This layer is much higher resolution. The HRO is high resolution orthophotography, I think. I don't know where I got that layer. But no new pools. So we'll turn off this layer, select this one. Now we're seeing some more above ground pools. The backyard neighbor of the original pool has an above ground pool now. Move to the next year. There's starting to get some more pools. And the lower, lower left, there's a pool that went in down there. I don't know if it has a brown cover or what, but that's a pool down there. Move to the next year. No new pools. And then the last, the last one. No new pools again, but definitely demonstrates the, uh, the swipe tool. Looks like 2018 was a pretty dry year. People were probably limited on their irrigation water. So that's the swipe tool. Pretty quick, pretty easy. I think I prefer the flicker tool for change detection. It doesn't require any kind of interaction. It just does it. One other thing I thought you could use the swipe tool for, because you can swipe layers as well. If I turn on this polygon layer that we have over here and we select it, you can swipe it as well. So it's not just aerial imagery. You can swipe features. Maybe you're revealing a proposed subdivision or a proposed park and you wanted to have some kind of a dramatic reveal. You could cover it up with a polygon and then swipe the polygon away so that, you know, a dramatic swipe, slowly swiping across. I don't know, that's something I thought. If you do something with the swipe tool that I haven't covered here, let me know in the comments. There you have it, there's the swipe tool. Now you've got the swipe tool in your tool belt. It's pretty easy to figure out, pretty easy to use. I like the flicker tool better, but the swipe tool has its uses too. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and tell your friends and colleagues about GIS Chops. GIS Chops has the best looking and smartest subscribers in all of YouTube, so everybody's gonna wanna be a part of that. If you wanna see the other tools in my tool belt Tuesday playlist, they're over here. 
My latest video's up there. My subscribe button's up there. We'll see you next time.